Music reaches a dimension of a man's soul quicker than the spoken word. Martin Luther said, next to the word of God, music deserves the highest praise. For more than 60 years, Cliff Barrows helped unite voices in praise around the world. He was a vital member of the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association team as its director of music and crusade host. His passion and influence were felt throughout the ministry. Cliff Barrows was born on April 6, 1923 in Ceres, California. He studied sacred music at Bob Jones College. After graduating in 1945, he married his college sweetheart, Billy. While on his honeymoon in the North Carolina mountains, Barrows went to hear a young evangelist speak. This led to an encounter that would shape the rest of his life. I had been invited to speak at a little conference center in Western North Carolina, and they said the song leader uh, can't come, and we have nobody to lead the singing. And they said, well, we've got a kid here that's just uh, got out of college, and someone told us he could lead singing. And I said, well, sure, I'd be happy to help. And Bill, with a big smile, he put his arm around me. He said, come on, Cliff, we won't be choosy. Let's go. And uh, he came up to the platform and led the singing and did a, a wonderful job. And I fell in love with him at that moment. Cliff Barrows became a close friend and collaborator in Billy Graham's emerging ministry. But he had dreamed of going to seminary and beginning his own ministry. Now, Barrows and his young wife faced a decision. Should he stay with Billy Graham? I remember I struggled about what we ought to do with our life. I remember the morning in Philadelphia when I said, Bill, you know we've been praying that God would lead us, and he has. And as long as you want me, I'll be happy to lead your singing or do anything you want me to do for the rest of my life. And he said, Cliff, it would be a wonderful thing if we could just share our life and ministry together until the Lord calls us home. And you know, I have never doubted all these years that this is where God wanted me. Give me that old time Along with singer George Beverly Shea, Cliff Barrows became synonymous with Billy Graham's ministry. He hosted the Hour of Decision television and radio shows and starred in films produced by the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. Goliath was making his way toward David. David very carefully began to swing. But Barrow's impact on the ministry was felt on a much deeper level. Cliff is a great personal blessing to me and inspiration to me. And he's a great sermonizer. Uh, some of the better sermons that I had in the earlier days, Cliff gave me. He kept us Barrows would use this talent to speak in front of audiences around the world, sharing the message of salvation through Jesus Christ. Most of all, he would spend the remainder of his life helping lead the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association's ministry efforts. After the death of his wife, Billy, he remarried in 1995. Barrow's second wife, Anne, was an important partner in his continuing ministry. In 2007, he was inducted into the National Religious Broadcasters Hall of Fame, honoring a lifetime of service. 60 years we've been together, Cliff Barrows and George Beverly Shea. They are two of the greatest men of God I have ever known. That's right. Now at this age, I'm still rejoicing that God has given me some opportunity to share, but more than that, he's encouraged me to encourage others to sing his praise. And my heart floods with praise and thanksgiving today for what he has allowed to take place in my life.